You know, here on the hotspot, we like to invite all of the island's villages. Every municipality is welcome here to Harmon. Come on in. You know, it's a safe place. We talk about amazing island events, and there is exactly one of those coming up on April the 14th, which is closer than you actually might think. My friends at the Agana Heights Mayor's Office have been working really, really hard to put on the 15th Coconut Festival. We have Miss Angelica and Miss Jenny here, and we are talking about it. And we also have a very, very special guest. This is Niduk, the official mascot of the Coconut Festival. Hi, Niduk. Half a day. You guys, Niduk look like he's, like he just fell from the tree. He's got a nice, nice brown color to him and everything like that, as, as most islanders do do so congratulations on having coconut festival again you know my family's from again heights this is a wonderful event really really proud to be connected with again heights awesome and we're happy to be back after two years three years of uh no festival so, far too long yeah far too <laughs> yes. long uh but yeah we're happy to be back and we're looking forward for the community to come out and the island of guam to share uh this festival that we've been having over the last 15 mm. years okay now i'm i'm gonna say this because you know i i grew up in the village you know my my, my nana and my tata both had a house there the, the house that my dad grew up in i know that people say that again heights is i mean technically it's one of the islands like smaller villages but we like to do things big there and you always expand and the coconut festival this this year it's in a new location first of all so a uh, different format different location but so where's it going to yes. be it's going to be at fort agata formerly known and better known as fort fort apugan and it's um, right by Government House. That wonderful outlook that you can see the entire, like, Aganya yes. Bay, you see Boat Basin and everything like yes, that. It's amazing absolutely amazing view. You see, you see Aganya Shopping Center. That's a wonderful place to have, have the event now. Uh, there's always vendors there. And there's a kajillion things you can do with the coconut. I know you have, um, Jenny, some of them, like, yes. right here. So this is a purse. It's made of coconut shells. Nijuk, are you okay with us showing, like, maybe some of your, your relatives being used, like, as art right now? <laughs> Okay, he's cool. <laughs> yeah, so this is a purse. No, really I never cute. would. Okay. Coconut shells. There you go. Is this like really, really? Okay, yes, very, very durable too. Okay, and I, I, I can also see that as potentially like, uh, you know, like if your kids get out of line, it's like, hey. hey. Right. Remember right. what I told you? <laughs> and then this. Stop is crying a, before I give you something to cry about. <laughs> this is um, a wine glass. Oh, nice made with a coconut uh, shell as well. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing yes. about like uh, Angelica, that our people, we have such a connection to the coconut because it's always been throughout our history so plentiful, but also we use all parts of it. I mean, like, you know, we, we, don't, we don't waste. Correct. Of course, um, yeah. you can use the branches for anything and everything. We, we have a whole bunch of products made from, from it as well. Um, we have hats, we have uh, mats, place mats and so forth. So not just the coconut itself, but the husk as well. Mm -hmm. And then even the inside, you can use it with food. You can make coconut oil, uh, you can make manhood teasers, coconut candy, and everyone uses coconut nowadays, uh, coconut milk nowadays for anything and everything. Absolutely. Or even coconut for your, your caligwins. Coconut water is a big thing too? Oh yes. yes it is. I, 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 have you seen any locals actually make coconut water? I know like there's a bunch of stateside companies that make it, but I know coconut water is all the rage right now. Um, not, I don't know anyone personally, but I know in the past, Mayor McDonald has had a uh, fresh manha juice, mm. uh, really cold and refreshing on that day. It's usually, um, sold out like oh. it's, yeah, right away. You know what? We could make history at the coconut festival. Everybody, some, somebody come up with a recipe, put the formula together and we could debut Guam's first locally produced coconut water. We would hope. Okay. That's also a rather large coconut that you've got on your lap, Angelica. Yes, this was a, an entry. So we have a contest. This was an entry and this one as the largest coconut in the 2008 Coconut Fair. Uh, so we have a contest and we're calling out for the biggest coconut husk and then the biggest coconut not husk. Mm. And then also uh, the biggest live coconut crab, the tallest chicken and the heaviest chicken. And we also have cash prizes for each category. Okay, so and uh, can kids enter this as, as well? Because you know, I mean, coconuts fall into like everybody's yard, and they'd be like, "Hey, that's a that's a pretty big one." Or you know, I know a chicken that comes in my yard. He's, he seems no, like he could be a winner. No limitations on the age. There is an application, or there's a form that you'll need to complete, um, and then submit. Um, our deadline for entries is twelve noon on Sunday. Okay, well, yes. you got some time, but, you know, make, make sure to get those applications April in. April 16. There you go. Yes. Okay, so, Jenny, um, can we talk about, like, you know, I I always knew, and one of the reasons why I love Aganya Heights, like, with every fiber of my being so much, is it's such a tightly knit community, and it really, I mean, you really do feel 
whoever's house you go to. Most definitely. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, you feel like your family, everybody's welcoming, you know, everybody goes to church together. It's such an incredible community. How has the community rallied together to really make this the best coconut festival oh ever? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. All the residents that just come to show their support, the entries, we get a lot of uh, input from the residents as well. We have a lot of um, residents that also come out and showcase their talent. Uh, we've also opened an invitation out to Agania Heights Elementary students as done in the past to show their talent, showcase their talent. Uh, we have a contest as well. Um, the classroom who participates in the most coconut crafts uh, will win a pizza party. So that wow. makes everything really exciting. Has anybody yes. had coconut on a pizza? I, you could. Mm, I'm sure. I, yes, coconut Nick, would you try that? I would. I would yes. totally try try coconut, coconut on a pizza. Candy pizza. Coconut. <laughs> Nick Delgado, <laughs> is, is he not a genius, everybody? Coconut candy pizza. Okay, th that that's gonna happen at the coconut festival. That might be KUM's contribution. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, so let's talk about parking now because, of course, we're moving it. I still say Fort Apugan, right? We're moving it to Fort Agata, Fort Apugan, wh however you want to classify it. I'm assuming that that rather large. Uh, parking lot across the street that typically you know houses um, either people going to the SDA church there or people like attending official business at government house will that be used for community parking most definitely okay and we'll have shuttle services available as well for the elderly uh, disabled yes okay and Anyone now that needs that extra okay assistance uh, absolutely that's wonderful uh, Angelica are there any other route any other spots available uh, for vendors because people are probably watching this right now and they were like I am so in we do. We have a couple of spots available. We're also inviting the food trucks, uh, anyone on wheels, mobile vendors. Um, we also have rides too. And then we, we do have a coconut display too. So anyone from arts and crafts, food, novelties, games, even if you have a special recipe, uh, bring it out. I'm sure it'd be popular. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jenny, you've got a couple other things here. Can we highlight these? Of course. Oh, yeah, oh. It's a classy show right here on the hot spot. You know, we only drink our wine out of uh, out of coconut chalices. You know, <laughs> we're like that. And this is another one. It's the husk and the coconut shell, and they made it into a bowl and just varnished it. Yeah, you could use, you could use that to a bowl, ashtray, yes. coin. Right. Coin holder. That and and look at yeah. Uh, can you hold that up for like of a second course. so Santa Rita P can get a shot of that? Look at the the finish on this and the sheen that it's got. That is absolutely beautiful. Right. That is the work of a true craftsman right there. That is amazing. Okay, and then there's okay. this And this red. coconut, this coconut was um I was going to say you brought in a strawberry? A, a couple <laughs> years ago, it's actually a beetle, a ladybug. Oh, okay. Sorry, oh. not a beetle, ladybug. And this was entered by one of the students at Aganya Heights Elementary. So this is basically what we're asking from them again is to be crafty with their coconuts. Must be a, a, a full coconut just like this and the classroom with the most uh, participation will win the pizza party. Very so nice. Very excited for that too. Okay, so how about if kids want to? They have to actually decorate a real life coconut. Right? Yes. They can't. They can't like. They can't go on Photoshop and say I downloaded a picture of a coconut no, and I'm no. gonna apply like gravy. No, because all entries um, entered in any of our contests will become. Um, part of our museum, Coconut Museum. Very nice. Let me ask the two of you, because you've been working on this for like so long and, and the both of you, and I, mean, I really mean this sincerely, you guys typify the love that Agana Heights has, you know, not, not only for itself, but for the other, other villages and everything. What does it mean to actually celebrate the coconut and have that be emblematic of, of our village? We are just so uh, pleased because as most people know, coconut is the tree of life. So we're very, uh, humble that we we were able to share the different things you can do with the coconut mm -hmm. coconut today there's over 200 different things you can do with coconut okay yes. now we are running out of time unfortunately once again cheers everybody from the coconut chalice uh, angelica i'd like to uh, can you please dispel a myth for me because i love again heights but i've been doing this kind of work for 24 years i've always wanted to know is white lady bridge does again heights claim that or does Maina claim it uh, that's Maina. <laughs> Santa Rita Pizzas, that's Maina. Okay, what, what, do, what do we say from the Aganya Heights Mayor's Office? I've always said that White Lady Bridge is Aganya Heights. So Aganya Heights is before the White Lady Bridge, and then after the White Lady Bridge is Maina. So we both share a portion of the White Lady Bridge. Okay, we, yes. we can share. And we all take um, heart into taking care of that area as well. Absolutely. So yes. Cheers. See, that's what it's all about. Aganya Heights is, is a wonderful community, and we're all about sharing. Yes. So ladies, thank you so much. Thank Need to you.
Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. We okay. look forward to seeing you all on the weekend of April 14th through the 16th. Absolutely. Real quick, what's the... What's the Friday, uh, April 14th from 4 to 10. Saturday, April 15th, 4 to 10. And Sunday from 12 to 6. There Hope you go. Hope to see you there. We are going to celebrate the coconut and we are going to celebrate awesome stuff when the hotspot comes back. Cheers once again.